here at Capcom <laughs> Cup 10. The next one, Dual Kevin and Problem X. Dual Kevin again from the Midwest region. And you know, the Midwest region has always had strong players from the US, but it's always been about the coast, right? It's always been about New York, Florida, SoCal, NorCal has always been kind of the areas. Texas was always kind of in the mix, but the Midwest, we are having all the players coming out of there and really showing their stuff now. Dual Kevin being one of them, Jack being another one, for example, and really- A lot uh, of strong players, no doubt. Raw, really, really showing up here. And so Dual Kevin here right now, the pride of the Midwest uh, coming at here, uh, coming at this tournament here. If you remember the CPT online, unfortunately for the Midwest, it was the Canada players that uh, got into grand finals. Canada right? killed it, yeah. Yeah, and so Dual Kevin, I think, is the only U.S. Midwest represent representative here at Capcom Cup. So so far, Dual Kevin has one win and is was 2-0 in games in that. Problem X. One loss, and he was <gasps> one and two. So, again, for Problem X to lose here and be 0 and two, you're not out of it, but you're in a really tough spot. I mean, we've already have a couple of very surprise 0 and two players yeah, here. Uh, you know, Angry Bird, Valmaster, for example. And uh, Dual Kevin, as I mentioned, he bust out that Rashid at Frosty Faustix, and here is that Rashid again. He's going to go with this character instead of Luke versus. Uh, Blanca, I wonder if he saw that match with Punk. Remember, Punk busted out the the, the the Luke, and it didn't really work out for him. Yeah, well, I talked with Kevin about character selection briefly, oh, okay, and he okay. basically said that he has he considers them co-mains at this point, right? Luke and Rashid. So rather than like having a backup in case, like he's more mm. like in this matchup, I play this. Right, exactly. He's just feeling confident and solid about that. Oh, oh look at the regular throw. old non-flashy yeah. EX. Regular command ground? While well, Blanca Chan just sits there just and taunts you the and sky. laughs at you standing on the ground there. All right, yeah, coming in here now, trying to apply this pressure, but gonna be minus on that spinning mixer, so Problem X takes his turn. Mm. Maybe looking for some reversal super <laughs> or EX from Kevin there. Yeah, that standing heavy kick. Clearly one of Rashid's best buttons. I mean, oh, the yeah, transition yeah. from five to six, his buttons got significantly shorter in range, but that standing heavy kick is one of the key buttons right there for him. Definitely some different tools. Here we go. And this isn't just about the damage. Oh. Interesting. Level three. I was about to say it's maybe knocked down into level two, but instead it's just directly into level three yeah. for Burnout. Okay, okay. You very rarely see that level three yeah. from Rashid's. But again, Burnout's great. And oh. he is keeping his eye on this. Yep. Not win in hand, so he can't get any of the follow-ups, but he, he has the reactions it. again. He knew it. Yep. So here we go. Dual Kevin ties it up one-to-one. -one. And when I see Dual Kevin play on top of his game, which is most of the time, his anti-airs are incredible. Yeah. Again, that is definitely a hallmark of the play. Again, you know, you take your talents from one game to another, and when you were a, a Marvel vs. Capcom player, you had to have the craziest reactions in those games. Sure. Oh, okay. the perfect parry, and he's going to be able to side switch and goes for a throw setup, too. Dude. You saw a punish counter on Ooh. that. Yo. Kevin, feeling windy. That is a lot of chip. Oh, right. Yeah, you got to hold this whole thing. Did he, he do anything? He did, he did. Okay, but now, that said, Problem X is still in trouble if he gets hit one time. Oh, Ooh, the trade yeah, is so important for him. If that had been anti true anti-air. Been oh very different. boy, now, here we go. He's gonna kick it at you because he wants to just chip you out, but it just hit him out of the air. You know, there are some KO situations in this game. Yeah. <laughs> that might have been one of them. And what's interesting that, you know, one of the things I wanted to mention it was I was talking to Duel Kevin at Frosty Fausting when he switched to Rashid and fought Punk yeah. after the whole tournament was over, even despite the fact that he had lost, he was said, I was really glad to be able to pull out Rashid yes. in a tournament environment like this and get the practice with him. And you can see, yeah, he's feeling really confident with this character. Yeah. Plus the frames. All the way into the corner. Yep, the wind enhanced spinning mixer is plus. Wow, just Ooh. a boss sweep. The decisions right now. He's back to it. EX just in case it. 
down. Still okay for him. Problem X, though, is in big trouble in the corner. Yeah. Still has life. It's not over in this round yet, but Empty. he is running out of time. If he gets all the way through this is thing... Is he going to go for the Super Rashid kick? Is it going to happen here? That's what he's going for. He's going for the root. Oh. Match point duel, Kevin. 22 hits right there. And now match point, like you just said. And this is crazy. Man, it's huge. Two players who... Well, almost everybody thought we're going to be making it out of this pool. And Problem X at risk of going 0-2 on day one. That said, this round's starting exactly how he needs. Yeah, it's wild how the boy. different somebody could look back-to-back, -back, you know, sure. just last weekend. It, 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 Problem X was looking unstoppable. He knew it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Duo Kevin has blocked some mix-ups in his day, man. But yeah. this time, Problem X correct? Okay. Here we go. Problem X is going to get a ton of damage off of this situation. Actually, Woo! he goes for the setup. Dual Kevin knew it. He tried to oh. drive for us to cha chase the rainbow ball down. But the problem is he drive rushed right into it. Maybe he wanted the blue block in there, too. Hard to say. Okay, so Problem X gets that round on the board now. He needs to get this round here to be able to. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, he wanted level two. Got eagle mm. kick. Okay, okay, and yeah, this is huge! Because now Problem X is going to activate the Lightning Beast, that is get the all the way swing. to the corner. No. I hear you, Elephants. No. Oh, that was out of the air, and he accidentally oh. cornered himself. But he's still going to be able to keep attacking, because that thing is so scary to deal with. Is what it? a perfect parry! He no didn't try cash. to do it! He didn't realize the Lightning Beast had run out. Okay. I think okay. he was thinking okay. of the yep. second one, the that. more stuff coming. Oh, nice! Got but he's going to anyway. Can he keep it up? Yes! Oh no! That is so much, and he's in big trouble! Yeah, unfortunately he did that jumping down heavy punch a little bit too high up, so he bounced off, he couldn't keep no the combo No resource going. here, just bring out the okay. DI! Okay, how much damage is this gonna do here? He goes into burnout forward, he's hoping to get it. Yeah, he's Does just he hoping exactly to get the, the right kill. Spot? No! no! Execution error! Oh, is he right? No! Problem X can just get in there and take the game. Oh wow. Lucky no! Lucky break for Problem X here. There was He's a got to capitalize on it. Two crucial drops Absolutely. in that one single round, yep. costing Duel Kevin that game. He just dropped that combo at the end, and then, like you said, the Asar that he missed when he tried to act, he just empty eagle spiked. So, makes a lot of sense to come back to character select and settle things down a little bit here, <laughs> chill out a little bit. Obviously, you know he's got the skills. He's going to try to get back into this thing. But yeah, that is a great break for Problem X. Mm, and now, suddenly, does this mean Problem X powered up here? Yeah, look at this. Suddenly, he's getting all the right reads. And here we go, the mix-up here. Great throw tech, but you still have to deal with this chance. And you get two mix-ups, so he Dude, fake defense, though? <laughs> Come on. High-low mix-ups is like nothing for, uh, for an MVC player, you it. know? This man has blocked Magnetos, dude. What is, right. what is a Blanca to him? Oh, very interesting punish idea. That's cool. Okay. And he's trying to hold on to that cage, you notice. Ooh. Where Problem X maybe wants to jump, as we talked about before, but also where Dual Kevin can set things up with normals or rush in or set up a whirlwind or just wow. go for the kill at match point, Dual Kevin. All right. Problem X now. This is his uh, last chance here. I love that. There we go. What a read at the start just to go right over the wind shot, the OD wind shot. And here we go, Lightning Beast. This could almost virtually win you the whole round because that sets up the Blanca Chan. What the heck? That was some drive damage right there. And there were so many things that looked Ooh, like overheads yes. in there. But like I said, that Kevin one. Didn't got, he didn't get pumped up by that. Right. But he did buy the DI. But like I said, that Blanca. No, no, no. Yeah, he still gets. I told you. As soon as he activated that Lightning Beast, I was like, he could win straight up You're off right, of this. Man. And it's there match it was. Point now for both. Final game. Final round. Here we go. Plus frames. Scared of a OD uh, spinning mixer, perhaps. Or maybe didn't want to get perfect parried. Whoa. Oh. Yes. The bait on the parry. Ball into grab for the 30th straight year. And if you're Problem X, and you can take this through after that start at the beginning to be able to come back and win this, and this oh, is yeah. the power of having the level twos, is that you get them so much more frequently than your level threes. Again? Problem X? Looking good. Should be able to kill off this. Looking Should good. Should be able to kill off this. 
And there it is, Problem X. Was that a double perfect at the end right there? I believe it was, back-to-back -back perfects. And for Problem X, this is what the heart of a champion does. Starting off a little bit rough, losing his first game has every reason to by the time you hit that third game to feel kind of bad. Sure. But then he just came in here and showed exactly why he is a former EVO champ and what did you say, six-time Capcom Cup participant. Amazing stuff by Problem X. What a comeback. We're going to take a look back at how it went here. There were definitely moments in here where I felt like Problem X was looking good in, in game number one, but obviously for the most part, Jewel Kevin uh, looked fantastic at his round. It was pretty cool. He loved the regular command grab working out. Pretty I mean, sick to see. But there were some nice... Okay, we're going to see some nice stuff from Dual Kevin in this game. Yeah, his anti-airs were on point. Like I said, when I see him on point, it's the anti-airs that uh, stand out to me big time. Yeah, but the hardest Defense part, in general. hardest part right now is remember Dual Kevin with these two crucial drops yeah. in game yeah. number two. We'll see those in just a little bit. And uh, nope, we're still in game number one over here. This was the yeah, KO this situation. Was yeah, yeah. Just, you're stuck. The checkmate situation. Checkmate it is. Yeah. And so here we are in game number two. It was in the round number two and round number, actually it was round number three that he had a couple of those crucial drops there. Yeah. But yeah, he was looking good. He was looking like he was going to coast through this. Went up to the match point and everything. But again, you know, when you're a person like Problem X, I mean, you are going to capitalize on your opponent's mistakes exactly. and force them to make even more mistakes. And that's the key right there. Again, you know, sure, Duel Kevin dropped a couple of those rounds, but that doesn't mean it leads to back-to-back -back perfect. Oh, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no, yeah, I mean, in, in part, it was Duel Kevin dropping some stuff, unfortunately. Yeah. But really, the story of it was Problem X figuring things out in neutral and offense so well mm -hmm. that even dual Kevin's excellent defense wasn't enough ultimately. Yeah. And so yeah, here we go. One. This oh, was man. like he gets this, this drop. and then he does oh. oh, that was That is tough. That was supposed to be super Rashid kick, I'm pretty sure. It's just supposed to be the level 1 and the whole entire thing at that point he drops it and then problem okay. X so not capitalizes. A, yeah, yeah. Problem X starting out. I mean, you could almost show this entire round. It was pretty quick. Not a full-on perfect in the first one, but, uh, man, completely in control by the end of this thing. So he started off very back and forth. Dual Kevin showed some periods of major strength, and then by the end of it, it was all Problem X again. Yeah, again, yeah. there's the setup. Oh, it's a tough spot to be in. It's just a tough spot to be in. And, and you know what? I, that might be a little bit of character unfamiliarity because Rashid should have been able to jump off the wall, right? And just get out of there, right? The air, or the flip the kick. Yeah, the flip thingy. kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. He should have been able to get out of that situation, but instead he just ends up falling right back on the block of Chan. 